A rectangle of perimeter 100 meters is to be constructed to have area 100 square meters. What dimensions are required? So first we're going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to show you how to visualize this. So we're going to label this as X, which will stand for the length. And this is going to be the Y, which stands for the width. Okay. So we're told that the rectangle of perimeter 100 meters is to be constructed, right? So the perimeter is 100 meters. Perimeter means the sum of all sides. Notice that this is also X and this is also Y. So that means there are two X's to be added and two Y's to be added to give us the total of 100. Okay, so we can indicate this as the perimeter twice the X, because these are identical sides, opposite sides, plus twice the width. Right, there are two widths, and the total is here, which is equal to 100. Right, this is the perimeter. Now, the next part is the area. So, the area is found by multiplying the width times the length. Right, the length times the width, so x times y. xy is the product, which is equal to 100. So, you've got two equations. Now, you have to somehow find solve for one variable and to do that you have to solve for one variable here in terms of the other and pl and then plug in that into the second equation to only have one variable left so what i mean is in this case notice that if you solve for y if you divide both sides by x you would essentially get this y is equal to 100 over x Okay, so what that means is that if you plug this into this equation, the perimeter equation, you will have to deal with only the x, right? Because the y will, will be in terms of x. You're going to substitute y with 100 over x here. So what I mean is we're going to go ahead and do that to x plus 2 times 100 over x instead of the y. And now, as you see, there's only x to deal with is equal to 100. So now if we multiply both sides by the x, both sides of the equation by the x, we will get rid of this fraction that we don't need. Right? So this becomes 2x squared plus, now the x with the x cancels out, so it's just 200, 2 times 100, is equal to 100 times x, right? Because the right side of the equation also must be, must be multiplied by x, right? So that's 100x. So now to get a complete quadratic, first we're going to divide both sides by 2. Because all of these coefficients and constants can be divisible by 2. So as a result, what we get is x squared at, uh, plus 100 is equal to 50x. Okay, so now what you want to do, you want to express this in standard form, this quadratic in standard form. So essentially you want to subtract 50x on both sides, and then you will have a zero on the right side, which makes it a standard form equation of the quadratic uh, that you've uh, used to see, right? So that's going to be x squared minus 50x, because we want to place that first in the order of decreasing powers of x, right? plus 100 is equal to 0. So now the left side cannot be factored, but we can use the quadratic formula, right? Quadratic is minus b. In this case, b is negative 50, so it's going to be negated version of that, minus b plus minus, recall, inside the square root is the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, right? b squared is going to be this, uh, this, this thing, squared minus 4 AC, right? So A is 1 and the C is 100. And all of this, remember everything, not just the square root, but everything together, including the negative B, must be divided by twice the A, twice the 1. So what that gives us is X is equal to 50 plus minus. Now this is going to be what? This is going to be 2500 minus 400 over 2. And further that leads to what? That leads to two possibilities. So x is going to be equal to 25 plus minus. Now 
square root of 2100, uh, we can express square root of 2100 as, uh, as 100 times 21, right? That would give us 2100. And that will be div divided by 2. Uh, well, we already divided that by 2, so it's just this. We divided 50 by 2. So that leads to that leads to uh, x being equal to 25 plus minus 10 radical 21, right? Because 100 square root of 100 is 10 over 2, right? So 10 divided by 2, we can still do more, right? So that's going to be 25 plus minus 5 radical 21, bingo, right? So we found the length. So we need to find the dimensions, right? We need to find the dimensions. So to find the dimensions, we're going to plug in uh, this x value into the perimeter equation, and we will solve for y, right? So plugging into the perimeter, here's what we get, 2 times 25, and we're going to test the positive solution, plus 5 radical 21, plus 2y is equal to 100. So what that gives us is uh, 50 plus 10 radical 21 plus 2y is equal to 100. So that means um, you subtract 50 on both sides. Subtract 50, subtract 10 radical 21 because we want to isolate the y, right? So subtract 50, subtract 10 radical 21. So as a result, we get what? We get uh, 2y is equal to 100 minus 50, right? So that's 50 minus 10 radical 21, okay? So what that does, if you divide both sides by 2, you will have solve for the y, right? You divide both sides by 2. That means y is equal to y is equal to 25 minus 5 radical 21. Okay? So notice the following. If x is equal to 25 plus 5 radical 21, y is equal to 25 minus 5 radical 21. They kind of uh, work opposite, opposite ways, right? Whenever x is plus because these numbers are all the same, right? 25 and 5, 5 radical 21 are the same, except the sign changes. When x has a positive between, y will have a negative between these numbers. When the x will be negative between these numbers, y should be positive between these numbers, right? So you don't have to even test the negative value. It will be the same. So there are two dimensions, right? And it doesn't matter which dimension you set um, equal to what, right? I know you might say, but the y can be, y is a different value. Right? When there's a plus, it's a different y. But the question is asking you what dimensions are required. Right? They're not asking you to tell you, they're not asking you what is precisely the length and what is precisely the width. They're just telling you find the dimensions. Okay? So the dimensions, I would say, is when the x is 25 plus 5 radical 21, that's the one we tested, and when y is equal to 25 minus. 5 radical 21, right? So what that does, what that simplifies to is what? So we just want to express it in terms of numbers, okay? A number by another number, right? That's how you, that's how you express dimensions. So this, the top x, should be about 47.91, rounded to the nearest 100th, right? To the nearest 100th is this. So 47.91 by about 2.09 meters, okay? So this would be the proper way to answer this, right? So this is the, this shows you, this gives you the approximate dimensions that are required, okay? So I hope this was useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.